Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel and another episode of my Darkness Falls for Alpha 20 series. It is the morning of day 50. We're going to head up to the traders today. I got a whole bunch of stuff in my inventory here to check out first. Uh, I made two of the Futures Now books, so we're going to check that out. I'm going to put this down. Let's put one in. Let's start this off. Read this book. So now that should open up the Futures Now. So if we go to uh, Skills. We got five points to spend now. The future is now, I believe, incrementally goes up as you go. So, yeah, so I can spend two points for this. So that's two. I don't know what these levels are. Or I could use the books. So I'm going to hold off um, using the book because if these start to crank up to higher levels and more, then I want to save the books and use those instead of eating up all my skill points. And the other thing we can start doing now is actually start using these guys here. Um, so, I don't know. We've got two um, going here. Leave you here. We've got two nanites. And that's it. So those nanites are for the bottom ones. Therefore, technological boosts. Biological boosts are the demonic essence. So I think we're going to go this one for the mobility. I mean, we're pretty we're already pretty mobile, mobile, but once we get power armor and stuff, we're probably going to want a little more mobility. But I think we're going to go that route, and we got we're almost at a full amount of pages. So we're going to go to the trader today. Definitely, we got a horde tonight, so that's one thing we have to be aware of. I think we're ready though. Uh, let's go ahead and use one of these guys. So what we're going to do is we're going to head over to... i got a bunch of stuff going in here too. Oh, it looks like it's all done. Beautiful. Pull that out. Pull those guys out. Put them in there. Got a little bit of work down here last night too. So um, let's have a quick look here. we got some concrete moving. Nice. So that's all done. We can grab those. Concrete, bl concrete blocks are now finished. Our steel should be pretty close to being done. Yep, we got our bullet tips done. More steel. More steel. Leave that stuff. We're going to grab our ammo for today. And that we can work on a little later. Let's uh, let's get this cranked up here. Eight, seven for now. All right, let's get over to the trader. So last night I was working underneath our horde base. Got about 18,000 iron, 20,000 iron, somewhere around there. Just decided to head home. Uh, and just get it moving into steel because there's no point in me staying there any longer. I mean, I could have kept digging, could have got screamers, who knows, a screamer horde could have showed up, but I wasn't really interested in fighting a screamer horde last night. So, we'll probably do the same thing tonight. I'll stay there for a bit, I'll grab a bit of iron, then we'll just head home. Now, um, get in here. Sell some stuff to you. Now, I know we got jobs for this guy, but. I'm probably going to cancel that one job, uh, only because, oh, we still got the ink on me, damn. I'm going to cancel the one job he's got for me, because I think I want to go and see if he's got the, the, um, the cracker book as a potential job, so I want to grab that, alright, that's that stuff done. Not bad. Plus, I want to grab some more corn and stuff today if I can grab that real quick. Now, uh, you restock tomorrow, so there's not a lot here we want Safe from you. Uh, let's cancel your job. I see you out there. So, uh, where is it? Hmm. Oh. It wasn't scrolling down, but now it is. Um... This is the one for you here, right? Yeah, rural drive-in. I'm going to go ahead and cancel that one. And then let's see if we can get one from you here. Um, tier 3. Oop, next tier. It'll be northwest or north. That's the refinery. Well, I can't say I'm not disappointed, but I still like you. I don't think any of these are live. That's the waterworks. Well, there's always tomorrow. Can you do me a favor? Drive in. Yeah, it'll be... Um, mm. It should be northwest, but... And it is tier 3, so... 
I think we're SOL here. Can you check the clear warehouse. Yeah, all right. Well, we're just going to leave it. Let's go smoke these guys. Step right up. Step right up. You're next. Beautiful. What's that? You want some too? There you go. And that's your payment. That's your payment for being a part of my circus. All right. Let's go to the... Uh, Let's go to that cracker book and get that done before we head over to the horde base. So the drive-in would have been a nice uh, little POI to raid, but we can pick up at a, we can pick that up a, uh, always at another time. I'm sure it'll sh keep showing up there because it's so close to them. But like I said, we've got important tasks to uh, accomplish today. I think should be able to. Where's the library? Next one, library. The cracker book. You know what I'm talking about. The book, the book house full of crack. This one. Excellent. Let's drop some stuff in the bike here. So stuff that we don't actually. That's mine. Stuff that we don't need. You guys. You guys. You two. All right. Come on, you bastards. Bring it in. Whoop, missed that one. So I think if we... I'm in a kind of a toss-up for what uh, mastery I want to grab once we get enough pages. Scientist would be a good one. I can't remember. I think power armor is under the new like future tech. So I think scientist might be the way to go. Because that'll give us the radiation ready mods. Which is one thing we do need. For going to that in the end game bunker. I don't want to go too soon to the end game bunker though. Because it'll be a little too easy. Grab that. It sh it'll probably be a little too easy if we do it sooner rather than later. Alright, let's take this car apart. Get it the frick out of our way. Alright, well, let's wake him up. See if we can bring him outside. I don't know what we got here. Come on over here, Kenny. Alright, well that's the front of the store. Now all we gotta do is worry about a wandering horde. Cause you know damn well it'll come at the most inopportune time. Cause that's how I roll. Now I think I normally average a couple hundred pages out of this place. So depending on how lush it is with books. We should have enough for a mastery. Which I can actually make tonight. Well, not won't be tonight because we got a horde tonight, but you know what I mean. After tonight, all right. Let's deal with these idiots in the back now. There should be like two or three of them back here. A treasure map. Hooray for that. We've got so many of those damn things. As nice as they are, I just don't have the time. I mean, I guess we could take an episode where I just go do treasure maps. And I know we could use dynamite to blow holes in the ground and grab them, but yeah, I don't know. Okay, let's open you up. And since I've got you on me. 
Yeah, I got six out of those. Did I get six out of that or did I just disappear? I think that just disappeared. Hey, you guys. Thank you for showing up. Thank you for being a friend. All right. So, with the last few down here. Ooh, that puts us over 300. That's nice. Gets us started on our next next mastery book anyway. All right, I'm not going to grab the electronics out of this place. No point. That was good raid. Let's go get some food. So, it's mostly potatoes that we need, but we're going to grab the corn from in here, going down this end. Got our trusty iron hoe. Hopefully we can find some brotatoes around here somewhere. Grab whatever's in here. I don't care what it is. Just take it all. I wonder if you harvest a chicken with this, if it'll, uh, is, uh, chicken vegan? I don't know that it is. So that's Todd Ingram. Uh, okay. So that gives us... Oh, 150. Alright, let's go see if we can find a potato field somewhere. Right, this is another corn field. Uh, we might as well get it while we're here. This lets us make cornmeal, which we can turn into plastic, so... Might as well get it while I can. Because I have a feeling it's probably going to be a bunch of episodes before we get the uh, farm up and running. I got a kind of an idea what I want to do. It's going to be elevated off the ground. And it's going to be inside the Shamway building. Underneath the main roof. Which I think will be kind of cool. I think down here, actually let's go back to the house real quick. I'll drop off, well, yeah, you know what? I wanna make, I wanna make some proper storage for the horde base, cause those little boxes aren't gonna do it. So let's just quickly drop some stuff off here. Look at all the bodies. Drop a few things off here, and then we're not gonna be coming back here today. We're gonna go right to the horde base after this and make sure that it's up and running. I left a bunch of stuff on the bike. Ah, uh, that's fine. Did we drop any ammo in here we didn't accidentally want to drop in there? Might as well grab an extra one of those just so we have it. Nope, I think that's all we need. Uh, was there anything I wanted to take over with me? I don't think so. Why we have two of these in here, I don't know. Just toss that in there. I'll take the die out later. All right, um... Right, we got all the stuff from here, we got all the stuff from there. I wanted to get my hammer. Uh, hammer. And we got some nails in here. Okay, um, lockable storage. Lockable player cabinets. The chests, or the, uh, Where are they here? The miner's chest. These have a bit more endurance, I think. Oh, we needed a door too, right. Uh, forged iron spring and mechanical parts. Springs, forged iron, mechanical parts. Craft two of those. Let's make, while we're here, We'll make a vault door and another two hatches probably. Just get those running. Alright, while we're waiting, let's grab five of those. And what else do we need for um, the NICAD mod? I need another one of these for the shotgun. Five. So we need duct tape, forged steel, and generic schematics. 
So where are my schematics? I had them in there. I know I didn't use them all. Oh, there they are. Put them back in there. Uh, I need four, what it, four duct tape. What was the other thing we needed? Oh, the batteries. Um, oh, there's a duct tape. Okay. There we go. Get that crafting while we're waiting. All right, how are we doing here? We've got one chest. So I want to put two of these over there. That's going to give us lots of storage. <sighs> Temporarily, anyway. What do we got? We got like three and a half minutes. So it's about noon. I just, I just seriously just did that. I just sprained my leg before a horde. Cause of course I did. I wonder what the uh, average for people breaking their leg or spraining their leg before a horde is. Cause that would be kind of interesting. Is that a sprain or is that a... Uh, sprained leg. So that's just a splint. Right? I don't, I don't often break stuff, but... When I do, I do it spectacularly. All right, uh, modify you. We got a NICAD on you already. What don't I have a NICAD on? Oh, you. Right, because I put it on the coil weapon. That was what it was. Yes. Okay, so that's back to, to being fine. What do we got here? We got the second one. We just need the door. I don't need the hatches right now, so we'll just grab the door, and then we'll get out of here. All right, there's the door. We'll grab that. Actually, you know what we can do? Ah, uh, you know what? Forget it. I was going to say we can just make something when we're over there, but you don't have to. Alright, we're looking for brotatoes now. I think, if I'm not mistaken, there's some farms up here we can grab some off of. Is it here? That looked like cool. That was like... That's cotton. At least we know where to come for cotton. I thought there was a field here that had potatoes. Am I mistaken? Kind of a cool looking greenhouse. Hey buddy, what's up? Let's go down here. There's probably some more farms down here. I can't remember where it was. Maybe it was on the other side of the town. On the east side. Down that main road there. Uh, there's this place here that just has blueberries and stuff. Oh, well, here it is. I thought there was. I should probably uh, chop you up for the meat. All right. Starting to run a little low on meat at home. Is this the one with the pigs that come out and get you? I don't think so. Get as many of these pot whoop, potatoes as we can. Not the ground. Potatoes. Potato. 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 Come on, hit the potatoes, not the grass. Let's harvest this zombie. Can we? We can, but we don't get much out of them. I mean, we get a lot of noise out of them, but that's about it. I'm just gonna... God damn, the, t the hitboxes on this game sometimes are just baffling. You can be pointing right at something and then just hit the block in front of you for some reason. Alright, that looks pretty good. Didn't get a lot. 78 It's not bad, though. I'm not going to mess with these guys. i got stuff to do. What the hell? Yep, that guy can't see you at all. Hang in there, kiddo. Just stay on his head. You'll be fine. Until the other zombies see you. Then use him as a ladder to climb up and eat your ass. A oh, little bit of brotato, a little bit of meat. Dire Wolf. Just not Dire Wolf 20. Bah -ha 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 -ha. Yeah, if you don't know, Dire, dire Wolf 20 is a, mine, a guy who plays Minecraft. One of the first YouTubers I actually seriously watched. He's like so... what do you want to call it? 
Um, why is he still... He's so, like, matter-of-fact. When he plays, it was like, no nonsense. It's pretty cool. But he always plays, like, difficult mod packs. Anything that's with, with like, complicated stuff. Ah, nice. Can always count on Mo to pick up some good stuff off of. Hey, lady. Are you still alive? Now you're not. Although I did see a brotato over here. There you are. Is it two or one I saw? Two. Aha. Sorry, twelve. That's so nice. Saves so much time. Okay, now. What do we upgrade? How much do we got a fair bit? So let's do this part. Really? I didn't even fix that? And I want to get the part up against the wall here. Now that's just in case they decide to blow a hole in the ground here again. Alright, that's probably pretty good. I'm not really worried about these plates. Uh, yeah, we'll leave those for now. Although I think I want to get a little more of that done. Just because if they get punted this way now, and they blow up over here, Okay, that's pretty good, I think. Let's get... those parts updated. What are we looking at for steel? We still got lots. Alright, now what I want to do is... this part. I know this part here doesn't really need to be stainless at the moment, but I'm gonna make it stainless like that. Cool. Now what do we got? 600. Alright, maybe we just hold on to that. It's starting to get there. This is how it should have been on day 30. If I was smart. This is, what it, this is where we would have been on day 30. But you know me. Thank you for showing up. Alright, let's close this part up. We're going to start with the outside one down now. Um, what else do I want to do here? Yeah, they got some spillover damage that just the cops just bleed into here, you know? It's weird because the walls are slightly damaged, but the chests and stuff aren't, so... Maybe it's coming from outside in. Yeah, a little bit on that wall. Or maybe it's like cops spitting and just kind of grazing the wall slightly. I don't know. I don't know what... Uh, or the birds, maybe. Yeah, I don't know. Okay, we're going to do... These parts where we stand... that done and that yeah just so that you know if we're here we're shooting and stuff the birds are pecking at steel rather than concrete a little less for them to get in on me okay that's not bad that's not bad at all here's our two miners chests we'll save the rest of the steel so let's put our miners chests over here so that's got nothing in it. And you have got all that stuff, which we'll take out. Now this miner's chest will go there. And that one will go there. This one will hold all of the horde stuff, I think. The, oops, and the wire tool. Can't forget to drop that off. And this one will hold all the stuff that we don't need for tonight. So all of our tools and stuff... Complete. 
we're going to be doing something here in a second. That got to go upstairs. So these guys can go in here. Bring those back to the house with us tomorrow. That's got to go upstairs. So let's go do that. If I can actually see. Take this door out. Place it with you. Like so. Is it perfect? No. Is it done? Yes. Did I leave my... I left my steel downstairs. That won't matter though. Should be fine. Alright, we're going to have a junk turret up here tonight. I haven't seen a wandering horde today. I wonder if they'll come... Just before tonight. Uh, let's grab you out. Do I have my repair kits here? I don't have any repair kits here. That figures. That figures. Alright, that's the weaker of the two. Are you loaded? You are. So let's put it... Like that. I'm interested to see how that's angled. Yeah, this will be nice when it's uh, all done. So that's... Gonna cover above my head there. Nice, and it should snap back and cover this side. Right? Just barely. Alright, well, it'll have to do. Worst case, we just turn the turret on. And I'm moving back and forth between the two spots anyway, so that should be fine. Okay, so the wood uh, goes in here. Now... Let's get the workbench. I'm going to need to make another land claim block. Where's my stone? Um, no. There we go. That crafting. I think what I'll do is I'll just put it down below in the mine. I'm just going to put you here for a second. We're going to get some stuff fixed. i got to like, take this block out even. That should be plenty. Now, we did a little bit of work in here last night. I'm interested to see. I'm going to let this sit like this tonight to see if anything actually glitches underneath here. Because I'm interested to see if they will or not, you know? Yes, and I'm aware that digging under your base like this is probably not a good idea, but I'm planning on filling most of it in anyway, so... It'll be just fine. I've done this a lot, actually, in a lot of different things that I've done. Like, my last playthrough, I did the same thing. I kind of dug underneath my base. And as long as you're down far enough, the ground is going to give you enough support. You shouldn't have to worry too much about it. A little bit of sand. That's 3,000. Let's get a full stack here. Grab a little bit of stone while we're here. Might as well. All right, that should do. Okay. I'm going to leave the hatch alone and the, the stairs alone. See if they can actually climb up there. Interested to see here. Okay, so stuff that we don't need on us can go there. Now, uh, we want to merge these two, I think, and these two. So that's why I put this out. The shotgun up a bit. Might as well get this guy up full. Okay. Wow, this is one of those few instances where I actually kind of feel pretty good about uh, our horde base situation. But of course, now that I say that, it'll end up being nasty. So that's the lightning. I'm going to knock down some of these trees. Just while we have a few minutes left over before Horde. So knocking down the trees can have two um, effects. One, the one I like the most, is that it clears your field of vision. Might as well grab those. So when you're looking from your Horde base, you can actually see everything that's around you. The second thing that it does is it also helps reduce uh, frame rate issues around your uh, board night. So the less the, that's got to be rendered while you're fighting, 
bit better. Me, I personally like just prefer removing it because I don't like having uh, stuff that I can't see past. Because if I need to identify enemies or whatever, I want to be able to see what exactly is around me. Okay, well that's pretty good. We have successfully deforested the area. Now, I don't have any steel on me, do you? Do I? No, I was actually thinking about just upgrading these. Although, do I have my concrete blocks? I don't. Oh, okay, never mind. Alright, I'm interested to see how this works out tonight. And interested to see if we get any demons. That's going to be the real... That's going to be the real issue. If demons are showing up now, then... I don't know what we're going to do. I mean, I guess I have to get the... Um, uh, what's it called? The uh, the thing that uh, cancels demon regen. I can't remember what it's called. Uh, having a brain freeze at the moment. Okay, let's put the stuff in here. Keep that on me. The food can kind of go in there. Um, keep one on me. Might as well just use that up. Okay, so we're going to keep this stuff on me. I'm going to keep the spear because I'm probably going to be down on my feet fighting at some point tonight. I think we're going to leave the M4. Because I, I don't have a lot of 7.62. Let's reduce that. Keep that out just in case. We got lots of coil ammo anyway, so... Uh, coil shotgun's gonna come down. I think Master Porkin's shotgun will keep, but in a tertiary position, only because if it's, we'll use it against demons to take their regen out if they show up. So we're looking for ammo here. Pretty dark. Why did I go to 45? There we go. Alright. Don't think we can always come back for more shotgun ammo. Keep the steel out, keep the concrete out a little bit. Let's bring this out. Bring the grenades down. Uh, let's keep a few blocks on us just in case. And then... Extra health. I only need one of these guys. The recog I don't know about. Uh, let's... Mm, I'll leave it here and if the night gets really crazy, we'll pull it out. Uh, if I need to repair the electric fences, I can probably do that after. Let's keep this out, though. You know what? Let's just keep those on us. It's not going to hurt, right? So I think that's all we need. Right? That's normally what we run with? My wellness dropped a little bit. Might as well just use one of these pre. Okay, I think we're fine. He said. With a trep trepidatious voice. That's lots of ammo. Shotgun's got a half decent amount of ammo. Spear is good. Are we loaded here? Nope. Uh, we are now. I'll probably use this a little bit tonight. Now, I don't know. We're going to... I'm going to just see how this first wave goes. So that's the electric fences. That's our lights. I'm going to see how this first wave goes. And then to determine whether or not I'm going to be shooting at them a lot. Um, I really want to save my ammo for the big boys. And I'm worried about... I don't know. We'll see. I mean, I shouldn't be worried. The last the last horde went really well. Even with all the demos going off down below, it went really well. And now the blocks are double in hit points. So they went from 500, or sorry, 5,000 concrete to 10,000 steel. So even if that same amount of demos goes off, it shouldn't destroy the blocks below us. I mean, it'll be a lot of damage, but now that we're sitting on a mine, we should be okay. Yeah, I mean... 
I gotta say, the end the end game of Darkness Falls, I really like it because it you never know if your base is gonna hold against what against what shows up, considering they're gonna be coming all night long. And so that makes it tough. But also if you're playing, you know, on increased horde, so you know, the horde's not coming every seven nights, but every five or four or three or two or one. It's just brutal. The later you, the later you go, it's just a matter of time before they're going to destroy you and like destroy your base and kill you. So even on seven days, horde, right? I've seen some pretty late game horde bases with everything upgraded to titanium, and they've still ripped the base a new one. Now, granted, that's sixty four zombies. The bases were a lot bigger than this, but you know, like if this was to go against a sixty four zombie horde, yeah, there's no way. Even with the three, like if we had three junk sledges out here set up the same way, we I mean, we're going to be at this door all night. And then when the succubuses finally arrive and the hell pigeons arrive, the uh, demonic pigeons, um, we're just not going to have the firepower above to, to deal with them. So, yeah, I don't know. I don't know. We'll have to be varying our time between here and above. And these two hatches, I don't even think we'll cut it later game. So we may have to actually switch these hatches out to like titanium posts or something in here. But yeah, let's wait and see. Oh, before we start, let's have a look at our uh, game stage here. So we were, the last horde we were what? Just before 200 I thought, or just after 200. We were like 200 and I don't remember what it was. 201 or 202, I think, when we started? The last horde? So we're at 5,079 kills. Still zero deaths. Um, 5,079 kills. 241 game stage. I don't know when the, ra the radiant guys show up. Or the... Um, the uh, demonic guys show up. Maybe the demonic guys just showed up in the snow biome because maybe it's just increased difficulty down there. I don't know. But I have a feeling we'll probably get a couple of them tonight, which is not... Not generally what I want, but the coil coil weapon should be able to handle them as long as we can keep keep them in a uh, stun lock, you know, with the uh, let, let, let the electricity. Let's just use that. Like, when, when can we make the? Um, when can we make the? What's it called? Ah, damn! Why can't I remember the name of it? I think it's in here, though. Laser, laser battery mod. I think that's it. Is it? Oh, crap. We got craziness to start off already. What's up, everybody? Yeah, she's confused. Hmm. That's a lot of them got by in the first wave there. Okay, that was a cop. We got him. So the one thing we didn't have in this gun the last time was the, uh, the NICAD mod. Okay, she's down. Hmm. I wonder if angling the turrets that way was... Oh, the other thing too is it could be the fact that I got this door down. Maybe more of them are deciding to go by rather than beat down here. Yeah, I think the turret being angled back a little bit is not seeing them quick enough. So it can't react as fast as it was reacting before. That's a demon. But where is it? I don't know. Where are you?
Yeah, it's shooting, but I don't see it anywhere. Where are you? Pair of green suede shoes. You know what? I gotta try something here in a second. I don't know. There was a demon. Did we inadvertently kill him? We may have inadvertently killed him. Um, I want to try something here. Let's get this. I want to just see. I'm interested to see. I got to get rid of that. Let's just see what happens with that there. Stop. Don't push him off for crying out loud. I can't shoot him. Yeah, maybe there wasn't a demon. I don't know what else would have exploded, though. Yeah, there's a, there's a demon here somewhere. I just can't see him. Huge difference from the last horde base, eh? Huge difference from the last horde base. Don't know if we're in a new phase of zombie yet. Or horde phase, that is. Yeah, there's this, there is a demon somewhere. I wonder if he's stuck. I wonder if he got stuck somewhere. Big guy did not make it through. There he is. Can't see his head. Although they are kind of getting stuck on those plates there. That might be a, like a, a nice accidental win for us. The behemoths get stuck there. The shotgun firing straight through them. He's going to blow up. Damn it. I think I got him though. Thanks for delivering that bag, buddy. Oops. Got them both. Yeah, see... Oh! So these guys actually shoot a fireball. Okay. That I did not know. That bear's fucking head clean off. Damn it! You're not done, eh? See him rise up like that? 
That's just fucking creepy. I don't know why I'm wasting my time. I don't know why they crawl like that. Too many of these guys are getting through. Well, maybe not. If we go to 32 zombies, though, it's going to be too many. I gotta make another NICAD mod for this thing. Yeah, they're just, um... That's nice. The big guys are not enjoying that at all. So having those those wings up there is a good uh, good option for me. Ooh, that guy took it right in the face. Go to that guy. See, look at. Once we get rocking with the armor piercing rounds too. That'll really help. They run up on me. That plate is gone now. Birds are dying fast. I might as well use up these things because they're going to be pretty much useless against uh, future hordes. Uh, they broke the top lock over there. Crotch shot. Did I actually hit him or did that, uh... I don't know if that was a hit. Okay, he's electrocuted. He's just not showing it. Hello. Goodbye. Yeah, over, I mean, overall, it's, yeah, barely any damage. Yeah, we're doing okay. That was a cop. Get out of my way, man. Evaporated. Keep them evaporated. No demos yet, so that's a good thing. So I'm gonna upgrade that uh, those plates out there to stainless steel. I think I got the cop. Ow! You fell off? All right. So, I mean, if you had a larger horde, um, this base would be great for a two-person base. You have one person cover the door, and the other person just shoot here. I hear you. 
Wow, well, look at you guys. Party at the front door. Party at the front door. Now, they were wailing on this a fair bit. Well, that bird died real fast. So, three. Oh, hey. Now, I don't think... These guys have demonic regen, so... They just have a tough regen. Ooh, that guy's disappeared. Come on, guys. I'm trying to kill that guy. That's a lot of demons. Or, sorry. Female behemoths. Okay, I don't know why that got loud all of a sudden. I have no idea. See ya. All right, I gotta watch my ammo now. It's almost morning too. Gonna try and focus down the big behemoths here. Where'd you go? That way I don't have to worry about them after the horde's over. The rest of these guys. Running around on foot won't be so bad. Where is she? Where'd she go? Stop hitting my base. I hear somebody banging out down here. Where'd she go? Damn it. She was right through there. No demons yet. Hooray for that. Okay, I think she's down. There was one more that went by, though. There she is. Right in there somewhere. There you are. Come on, lady. Damn it. This gun's almost done. Cop. X cop. X cop. There's another one. Now, where's she? Where are you, lady? Oh, there you are. All right, she's down. All right, we're going to let it sit now. There we go. Morning. Oh, man. That's actually not bad. Let's just put a bunch of this stuff in here. Will I? Oh, that's full still. Wow, I didn't even empty that from last time. Okay. Um...
Damn it, stay up here. There we go. Alright, let's, um... That can go in there. Let's use you. How are we doing? We got okay for rounds. You guys can go in there. Okay, well, oh, I gotta turn this off. Well, that light up at the top didn't help out anything, I don't think. Wow! Look, I was coming to visit you. You couldn't wait? 30 seconds was all I was asking. Look at this thing. Is that junk turret down? Maybe that's why so many of them are getting through. It's just, we're in cleanup mode now. Oh no, they're both working. Oh, you know what it is? Oh, it's the one on the roof is closer. But when I put this one down, it can't be closer. Fuck. Okay, I think the uh, turret got her. Nope, she's right there. Fuck. Got her. Well, that compounded things a bit. Oh, well, we got our first demon showing up at the horde base. Ah, uh, this is bad. Alright, we gotta move. Let's move. Are you reloaded? No. Spread out the heat across multiple chunks. Took that one right in the face. Fuck, another one. Got me with a fireball, the bastard. So now what? Where are you? And again. Alright, we gotta get in the bike and get out of here. Little too much for my liking. Grab you. What do you say we go down and see what that's going on at the passing gas? <laughs> oh man. Anyway, I'm going to end this episode here. Hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, drop a like. If you haven't subscribed, please feel free to subscribe. When you come back next time, we're going to go back and deal with that horde. But i got to check if this place has any gas first. Until next time, we'll see you later.